Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tech Fear YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Play Store onto your Windows 11 PC. So you can install any Android application in your Windows 11 PC. Okay, let's get started. Okay, uh, first of all, go to the link in the description below and uh, you need to download this uh, zip file. I have, I have created this zip file with all the resources you need and uh, you just need to download that applica uh, that that zip file and once you download that one you need to extract it um, like this I'm gonna using 7-zip uh, you can use any application you want I'm gonna extract it okay once you've done that uh, open that folder and open the readme file and as you can see i will zoom it so you can guys you can you guys can see uh, these are the commands you need to enter so i have put this uh, notepad file so you can just copy and paste those commands and um, first of all before doing anything you need to enable some features in windows so what you need to do is uh, right, go to start and type uh, windows so features so you can see turn windows features on and off click on it um, in here scroll down and you can see so one called this one uh, windows hyper supervisor my platform uh, virtual machine platform you need to uh, enable both these uh, things and click OK and it will restart your PC then already I have um, enabled it that's why it's already enabled but some of you guys uh, it, it will be disabled so you need to enable and click OK and it will ask for you to restart restart your machine then come back uh, to my video to continue uh, other steps okay so I have already done that so I'm gonna click close after you've done that um, you can you are good to go so first go to this folder which is a VCA package folder in here uh, you need to copy this um, path because you are using PowerShell to um, execute this application so Go to start now, type PowerShell and you need to run it as administrator. So right click it and click run as administrator. Uh, once this, this is open, type CD and put your path and press enter. Uh, now we are in that path. We can run uh, the application so go to the notepad copy the first uh, first uh, command this command and paste it here and press enter okay now that uh, that is installed i'm gonna close this window uh, now if you go to start menu you can see there's a one called windows subsystem for android uh, open that application in here you need to make sure the developer mode is enabled and uh, also you need to go to um, start menu go to settings and in setting type developer settings in here you need to enable this as well so this is windows uh, developer mode so you need to enable that one after that uh, you need to enable this uh, windows system uh, subsystem for android that is also need to be uh, develop mode enabled once you've done that uh, in the ip address section click uh, refresh um, 
after that uh, click manage developer settings click on that then click continue uh, as you can see it's our starting windows subsystem for android so it will take some time okay it's finished now um, as you can see it's opened now you just need to close this window now uh, minimize this window because we need uh, we need to uh, refresh this ip so minimize this window and go to the folder downloads folder go to the um, second folder which is platform tools so go into that folder and go to platform folder again and you just need to click on this uh, path and type cmd and press enter now now as you can see you are in uh, in this uh, command prompt you are in that folder now so once you've done that go into notepad and copy this um, command first command copy it and paste it here and press enter uh, once you done that uh, you can see fail to authenticate uh, to this IP address so what you need to do is go to subsystem click refresh uh, then go back as you can see it's uh, signed now go back uh, put the same command and press enter it's okay already connected to uh, this IP so that is correct now then the, you need to go to notepad and get the second con, uh, second command and paste it here and enter now you need to type su i'm gonna type su here so you are in the root now we are in a uh, root so you can change uh, other stuff so, um copy the third and final uh, fourth and final command and paste it here and press enter now everything is finished close this window close everything now go to start bar as you can see it's play store is uh, already now installed and if i open it it's asking me to log in so i'm gonna click sign in and i'm gonna log Log into my account. Um, I'm gonna type my my email address. Um, take your dot channel. I'm gonna put my <coughs> uh, password. And I'm gonna scroll down and click I agree. Okay, Play Store is now uh, successfully installed. You can uh, see all the application and games, everything in here. So for testing, let's let me show you uh, install one application. So in here, if you go to apps, you can see WhatsApp, Instagram, all those uh, ones. <coughs> let's go to let's type youtube okay youtube is there and uh, now i'm going to click install if you are using an android phone this is familiar face because this interface is same as in android so this is same play store in android uh, now it's installing let's wait a little bit Okay, it's installed. Uh, now I'm gonna click open. Let's click my account. As you can see, YouTube has or oh, you can use as in the application. So that's how you install um, Play Store into your system. 
and if you go to start you can see the UTB is there any application you install it will come here so you can just click on it at, and open the uh, application so that's how it's working and I hope this video helpful for you to in how to know how to install Play Store into your Windows 11 PC and if that's the case like this video subscribe to this channel and see you next time with another amazing video bye bye